Hey guys! So this video is geared towards the advanced band students and we're going to be going over your new note from page 18 and also number 64, Minka Minka, which uses that new note. So I have put up a very large yellow box for all of you. As you know in your books, whenever there's a new note, you get your one little yellow box and tells you how to play your note. This is from my giant teacher book and has every instrument. So we're going to go over the flutes first. So flutes, your new note is high A flat, and that is played G with your pinky as it shows you in that little box. So G, you finally get to press this key. It's so exciting, your pinky key. And that will make a high A flat. Um, clarinets, your new note is B flat. It's like A. You get the fancy A key, but you also get to press that other key we haven't pressed yet on the back above the circle thumb key. You get to press the other thumb key, not cover the circle, just the other one. And that note we call a crab because your pin, it's a, like a pincer. And that's your B flat. Saxophones, your new note is a high F. It's just like your low F, not F sharp, F, your first finger but you also get to press your thumb on your octave key to make it higher. So F, first finger, and your thumb. Trumpets, your new note is also a B flat. And as it shows you right there, that it's a one, your first finger, so it's like F, but you buzz even faster to make the note higher. And trombones, your new note is an A flat, just like the flutes. And it is in third position. So just like your E flat where your hand can touch the bell. But again, just like trumpet, you have to buzz faster. So this new note, whether it's A flat, B flat, or F, should sound like this. And that's your high A flat, B flat, or F, also known as concert A flat. If you're getting a low one, version of that note and that's actually your new note on page 19 but remember you want the high one so now some of you might be questioning miss cinnamon why are you only playing the flute why aren't you playing clarinet or trumpet or trombone well unfortunately i do not have all of these instruments at home i will do my best to make videos on as many instruments as i do have but i also don't have the space to put down and pick up and switch instruments it's not our classroom. So right now it's gonna be on the flute, but that is what your note sounds like. You can also go out and search for other YouTube videos to hear people playing your instrument, playing that note. So now we're gonna switch over to number 64 in your book and we're gonna see if I can get that up on here. There we go. Um, let's get my face out of the way. So as I've said, in other videos, I'm gonna start putting the music up here for you guys so you can see it visually and also in case you don't have your book. Now, since I'm playing the flute, this is a copy of the flute music. If you do not have your music, let me know and I'll figure out a way to get it so you can do it too. So let's take a look at this real quick. First thing we look at is our time signature. And this time it's two, four. Now we gotta look at our key signature. My flute players, your flats aren't there, it's missing. So that means unless you have a flat sign, everything is natural, which means E naturals, which was F with this finger. And clarinets, you have F and trumpets, you have F sharps. Saxophones, you have C sharps. If you don't remember these notes, go back and review them. So anytime you see that note on your instrument, like in measure three, make sure you're playing the correct note. That comes up in measure three, measure four, and then measure six, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, measure seven. So make sure you're playing the correct notes. Now, our new note is in here too. It's in here one, two times. So make sure you practice switching to that new note before you play this. So now I'm gonna play through 
the A line. The B line is a clapping line. You can do that for fun. You can get a younger sibling or an older sibling, teach them how to do it so they can do it with you. But I'm going to play the A line of Minka Minka with you or for you and listen to it. Try to play it with me. So this is number 64, Minka Minka. One and two. especially in this fourth measure. You might have gotten the first note correct, but make sure both of them are that other note for flute C natural, for trombone Z natural, for saxophone C sharp, for clarinets and trumpets F sharp. So make sure that whole measure you don't want. Or I hope you hear the difference in those three. You want the first way. So now I'm going to play through it one more time. And I would like you guys to pick up your instrument and play with me. One and two. is number 64, Minka Minka. So I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye friends.